Terry, Texas is one of the 22 states that have measles cases. Luckily, here in Lubbock, we haven't seen any. In fact, the last time Lubbock saw a case of the measles was more than 19 years ago. Doctors in town and the health department say they're trying to keep it that way. It's something that's kind of like on everybody's mind whenever they see a rash. The symptoms for measles are countless. Cough, um, coryza, which is a runny nose and other respiratory symptoms because it causes a lot of inflammation in the respiratory airway. These symptoms might not even be obvious for 10 days. Highly infectious, so if somebody's not vaccinated and they're exposed, they're likely, they're very, that's almost a 90% chance of them becoming um, infected with measles. It's an uncomfortable viral infection and it could kill you. In developing countries, measles has a mortality rate of about uh, 4 to 10%, so it has a pretty good uh, number of mortality. The health department does have some concerns. Somebody that's unvaccinated may be traveling to New York and Washington are kind of the bigger places that we see the outbreaks, um, maybe being exposed and coming back to Lubbock and developing the measles. Uh, they need to be isolated if there is a, a degree of suspicion. And um, again, you know, vaccination is, is the key to prevent measles. But they'll continue trying to keep the infection away from Lubbock. The vaccination itself is the best tool we have against measles. So if you're if you or your children aren't vaccinated, I really encourage you to really reach out to your pediatrician or your doctor. The CDC says most of these cases are appearing in areas that have low vaccination rates.